Okay, so I've got some really awesome news for Commodore Amiga fans out there. Uh, today, after 30 years of being hidden away, uh, someone has just come up with the disc image of Stuntman Seymour. So Stuntman Seymour is on Commodore 64, and it's a game I used to play as a child. Anyways, the game has just been recovered, and literally up until today, no one knew about this game's existence. So you can grab the game which is in ADF format over on Games That Word and I'm going to just run through the first stage on this because I've not played it yet but it's one of those games I've actually played on my channel around a year ago on the C64. Like I said it's one of my childhood favourite games, it's obviously by Codemasters and Codemasters back in the early 90s were a budget label pretty much. Uh, compared to nowadays Codemasters are responsible for the Dirt games, Colin McRae games in uh, pretty much other triple A games. So you can download the game and like I said this is an ADF which is quite a popular format for Amiga emulation. Just go to the game Stuntman Seymour downloads just here and it will download in a zip folder and from there you can then use it in an emulator or you can even put this onto a floppy disk if you've got the right hardware and software to do that with. So anyways I'm going to give this a go.
It's an ass stuntman Seymour for a Commodore Amiga, so uh, my first impressions are it's a lot more difficult than a Commodore 64 original of it. Uh, maybe that's because I was growing up playing that game a hell of a lot when I was a kid. And like I said, I only released a gameplay video of it on C64, maybe this time last year. Uh, obviously, if you're familiar with the C64 version of Stuntman Seymour, then the noticeable difference is obviously the music. Uh, personally, I prefer the 8-bit Sid Chip tune for that game, but that could be nostalgia. And secondly, another different thing from the C64 version is that in this Amiga version, we got invincibility, uh, but make no doubt about it, there's a definite difficulty level risen for the Amiga version of this Anyways, I'll leave the link in my description so you can check this out yourself on your emulator or however you play your Amiga games. But anyways, until next time, stay retro.